My name is Un, and I'm a journalism student here. And um, my question for both of you is, um, if what would you do differently if you um, were to do your coverage of Sing Sing and of um, Lia Lee and her community today with our new technology? And um, what what are the things that you would keep? Can I begin? Uh, sure. I wouldn't use the new technology at all. That is, the kind of reporting that I do really depends on a notebook and a tape recorder and occasionally a telephone, a pair of eyes, a pair of ears listening. It's not that I think that all of these new technological advances can't be helpful in some cases, but there's something about the radical simplicity of just walking into somebody's house and essentially not being burdened by anything that makes you seem like an ordinary person. And for you, Ted, you literally couldn't be burdened. When you were doing coyotes, for example, you couldn't have a, you know lots of stuff that you were carrying. When you were doing New Jack, you had to have just a little tiny notebook that could fit in your regulation pocket. There are situations in which I could have taken other recording devices, like with coyotes, I could have had a camcorder, say, for parts of the border crossings. I could have uh, taken photographs of the worker camps, or, you know, there was nothing secretive about my reporting there. I'm a blonde American, so I wasn't pretending to be somebody else. I could have um, recorded some of it in another way. I'm probably glad I didn't have to think about that because I already had so much going on. I, I might have felt overwhelmed, like, you know, or, and there were situations too, like where I wanted to meet a smuggler. If I'd had a camera, it might have made it harder to do that. Um, when New Jack came out, a friend of mine who's a television magazine producer said, wow, you know, could you, could you go back in with a hidden camera? Because we could get you on if you did. And I was like, uh, I don't, I had to think really hard. First, could I? But then, would I? And I might have been able to. But it would have changed everything about the person who's telling this story, I think, to know he had a, a camera tucked into his hat or something. I mean, it turns me then into a spy. It takes me from being a correction officer into being a spy. It changes my status to have a secret recording device, and I didn't want that at all. I should say that um, um, I think it's a sign of the times that more and more books are coming out with companion websites, uh, uh, like David Carr's uh, new book, The Memoir, The Night of the Gun has a, uh, a complex website full of all kinds of material that complement the book. And while I traveled the roads, I took uh, video, I took some stills, uh, and I'm glad I did. But it was, a, it was a small part of what I do, and to have made it a big part would have changed the project. As you know, these cameras in the room with us today have incredible power, but they change the room they're in, don't they? And when you walk into somebody's house you don't know and there's a camera on your shoulder, it's, it's like the most powerful thing in the world, but it's going to change. Some people might tell you more. Some people will tell you less. Everyone's going to tell you something a little different than I think uh, they would if you didn't have that camera. Or, or am I being overly suspicious? What do you think about that? I think that's completely true. and. This makes me remember a wonderful email that one of my own writing students at Yale wrote to another member of the class. She was a very experienced journalist and she had done a lot of interviews before. And this other student had never done any interviews. And she said, you know, don't be scared because being a reporter is just like being a regular person. You're forming a relationship. Now, if you're doing investigative reporting, that's different. If you're trying to uh, be secretive and uncover evil, that's one thing. But in the most, in the bulk of reporting situations, 
you want to be curious, you want to listen, and you want to enter that relationship as unencumbered as you can, and you will do well because of all the things that make you get along with people that you meet in non-professional yeah. situations. Yeah. So that's the, the core set of skills is, is getting to know other people. Yes, and listening, you, yeah. warmth, empathy, yeah. curiosity. Right. Those will serve you as a reporter just the way they serve you when you're meeting new friends.